Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's World 4. I still have my awesome power-ups, and this music is pretty loud. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn that down a tad and continue on. I haven't really paid attention to the Red Bombs Blast. Oh, I guess the Red Bombs Blast radius are, is indeed the same as the black ones. It's just that they have invulnerability when they are in blast mode. So I guess that's the difference between those two. I just wasn't sure before when I uh, first encountered them. And wow, this level went really fast. <laughs> and I mean really fast. But it's all thanks to my good old remote bombs. Never leave home without them. Unless, you know, you die and you lose that power-up. But I'm sure if you blast some soft walls, you'll find another one eventually. Uh, oh, Silver Bulls. These are the ones that I said that take two hits to destroy. So you want to strategically make them turn around as they touch your bomb. And then let them get hit by the blast. Like, yeah. Oh, actually, I could have just blasted him early because that was the one that took two hits. I mean, that was the one that I hit the first time. <laughs> I am clearly a master of paying attention. I just don't see how anyone could ever fall for the tricks of those little uh, camouflage enemies there, you know, those yellow squares down there. I mean, even when they're in their most invisible state, their eyes are still visible. <laughs> I, d I just don't really get those enemies. They're just too... Well, maybe, maybe they're... Their idea is to, like, trick you into- wait, wall walk, I want that. <laughs> because I haven't showed the wall walk yet. I think maybe the idea of those things were to, maybe for people with bad vision or bad TVs. <laughs> I don't know! But they do not do a very good job of avoiding your bomb blasts or anything, really, because they stay in place for far too long. Anyway, you've seen how the wall walk works. You can go right through soft walls like so, as I intend on taking advantage of it. <laughs> Look at that brokenness! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 now I can't do that because of that. Wait, actually, I could just do that. Get out of my way. I'd just like to show you how you can take advantage of this to the absolute max. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> how do you like them apples? <laughs> See, you can hit enemies when they're in their trapped cubicles, as opposed to, you know, having to blast them out. That is the true power of the wall walk. Um, you'll know, uh, remember that I said that you have the kick item where you can walk into bombs to kick them across the screen? Um, uh, if you have the bomb walk ability and you have the kick, they will not work together. The wall walk, wall walk will actually overwrite the kick and you will not be able to kick bombs because you can't touch bombs. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also stop bombs as they're moving with the kick. I forgot which button that is, though. I'm gonna have to try that when I get... Wait, do I have the kick again? I don't remember if I still have the kick. I've been just casually blasting my way through the levels. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... First, clear some way so I can try to kick a bomb. Yes, I do. Okay. So if I were to... Uh, I don't have enough room to truly really try that. Okay, you press the X button on the controller. And I didn't have enough room to try that. <laughs> I just didn't, didn't want to accidentally blast it. Oh, there's a bomb walk item there. I, I'm not going to get that. Because as I said, I don't want to overwrite... The, well, I didn't say I didn't want to overwrite the kick, but I, I'm saying it now. I don't want to overwrite the kick. The kick is very useful because you can do stuff like this and just get it out of your way. Wait, did that actually hurt the UFO? It does hurt the UFO when you kick a bomb into it. Does it hurt this guy when you kick a bomb into it? I don't think kicking a bomb into enemies works all the time. Or maybe it does. Maybe I'm thinking of another Bomberman game. I've played a, so many Bomberman games that I think I'm getting mechanics of them mixed up. <laughs> and I'm taking advantage of the kick way too much now. <laughs> I should just be playing normally. I was doing so well that way. <clears throat> Aww. I'm just having a little bit of fun now. <laughs> Actually, wait, does it hurt the tank? Yes, it does hurt the tank. Surprisingly, kicking a piece of metal into another piece of metal hurts it. 
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't get it either, but where is... Oh, there it is. I'm not gonna bother with that little block down there. I just don't feel like it. I don't have the time, nor the patience. <laughs> Next level. Oh, silver guy is drastically in the way. These silver copter guys, they are much, much faster than their red variations, and they take five hits to destroy. Extra life. So they are definitely worthy of... I forgot my own blast radius. <laughs> They're definitely worthy of being a strong enemy because... Well, even if they are predictable, it's the thing of... That they are just that fast and they take that long to kill. Although, that red bomb does seem to be killing them in one hit. Maybe red bomb blasts? They manage to have more power over the regular enemy, too? Maybe that's the thing? I mean, that's an extra trait, the red bombs. Oh, needless to say, the red bombs also can blast through walls, but the thing that I was questioning before with the red bombs was their uh, radius of how far they could blast. Why did you go down there? I was waiting to drop a bomb. <laughs> that was probably why you went over there. And needless to say, they don't aim for you directly, it's just that they're so fast that they get in the way. I'm going to drop one here. Mm, come on, come on, come on. Just a few more hits. You can die. I have faith that you can die just like all living creatures. Well, uh, you're more robotic, but, but still, I suppose robots can die too. It's like a system crash or something like that. A blue screen of death. And... 4-6. Oh, breath mints. Breath mints of death. Well, I'm taking advantage of my invincibility here for sure, just to open some space. Red bombs. Do I want the red bomb? Probably want the red bomb, at least for experimentation. Like, will the red bomb do more damage to those silver guys? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe only that red enemy can do more damage to, the, to certain enemies. You know, the red bomb enemy guy thing. And my bombs are just... Um, wall cutting bombs, I think. Coming to think of it, did those? Oh shoot! I did not know that was there when I dropped that second bomb, dude. If will, will it overwrite the red bomb if I grab this? No, they become red. Um, uh, red remote control bombs. That is really nice. But yeah, maybe I was. Do those red bomb enemies? Uh, actually blast through walls? I wasn't paying attention to that in the slightest. You don't have to tell me, I'll just look back at the footage. <laughs> um, you, come back over here. Please? Yeah, there we go, that works. And the whole stage is clear just like that. Wow, remote control red bombs. That is like... Maximum power up right there. Alright, what else? Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to the red bombs this time, just because they're there. Now, okay, blast the wall. Yes, they do go through walls, just what I thought. Okay, that's that's the thing that I wanted to con confirm there. And I'm really taking advantage of my invincibility time here. Um, that's pretty much it for this level then, because I'm just gonna blast him and there we go. <laughs> oh shoot, what have I done? I went too, I mean, I went a square too far. I was just nudged over the corner a tad too much. No, what have I done? Well, I guess it allows me to explore this a little bit more there and hope for some more power-ups, but man, I was at my absolute maximum. Well, aside from, you know, having full bombs and full firepower, but that's not really all that important as opposed to those special items. Alright, boss stage without anything. <laughs> Other than my bombs and timing. Oh, this guy. He likes to bounce along the walls like that, and your objective is to hit him into the electricity, and that's how you hit him, but he's very, very, very predictable, and as you see, he just bounces right along in diagonal lines, so... And he's not really all that special, either. He's just like... one sprite. He floats. <laughs> But otherwise, that's how you hit him. You have to blast him into the walls. See how see how he didn't take any damage there? He didn't flash at all? That's because you have to hit him into the walls. Because those electric fields there. And that's it for this ball. Wait, he didn't hit me there? Okay. <laughs> I thought I got myself into a bad place there, but 
that was not the case in the slightest. Blow up, thank you. I used those bombs to blast him back as well as to protect myself. I wonder if he can actually hit you when you're at these corners here, because it seems like you... His hitbox, I should say your hitbox, is really small. <laughs> but at the same time, I have to sort of come to the center because of the fact that, you know, I need to get the blast radius to touch him and knock him into a wall. So that's pretty much it for this boss. He's pretty boring, I have to say, overall. There, there's much, much better bosses in Super Bomberman 2, which is a game that I'll probably end up doing later on. Just because I love the Bomberman series that much, and I've always wanted to do a Bomberman game on my channel, but I have been pretty much incapable of recording any Bomberman game. <laughs> I, I should say any classic Bomberman game. I've been really pining to do uh, older Bomberman, I mean older games in general, so I figured, let's kill two birds with one stone here. Oh, pfft. I wanted to save my state, and I pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> I like to save between parts, you know, just so I don't lose track of my progress. And that's the end of this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Really happy to be doing a retro game again.